All right, in this video, we're gonna show you how to take perchloric acid here and turn it into, uh, from the good structure, this is a good, good structure. It meets the octet rule. And so this is Hoff, and you may see it and may use it, meets the octet rule. Let's go ahead and figure out the formal charge on each of the atoms. And I have my little chart right here to help us remember some quick shortcuts, because this can take a little while. The formal charge in chlorine, uh, there's seven valence electrons, and uh, there's no, no lone pairs right now on it. And there's uh, eight electrons that are bonding, so we're, you know, four bonds really is what you're subtracting out. Uh, but overall, you end up with plus three charge on the chlorine. The oxygens, uh, the ones that are single bonded, so we're talking about uh, these guys right here, these are all minus ones because of the, it's six minus uh, six lone pairs and then half of the bond electron, so negative one. But that's what a single bonded one right here gives you. So I'm just kind of refer to that chart here instead of doing it because we're gonna, it's gonna take a long time. It's got a negative one there, we've got a negative one here, and a negative one for the formal charges on these guys. Now this has uh, got two bonds and two lone pairs, so this is gonna fall under the two bonds, two lone pair, or the zero formal charge. Hydrogen, uh, you can work the math, it's also gonna have a zero formal charge, plus three. Now if you add up all the formal charges, I've got a minus one, minus one, and a minus one, I've got a zero on the other oxygen, a zero on the hydrogen, and then I have three on the chlorine. Notice they all add up to the charge of zero. See, perchloric acid uh, is HCl4. There's no charge. It, it's zero. We, we don't write it there. That's what we mean. There's, it's not a plus or a minus. Now, how can I improve the structure to make it better? Well, formal charges uh, are here to help us uh, decide Basically, you're going to put more double bonds in here. So where can I put them? You just start putting double bonds in certain places. Now, you've got to move electrons to do that. So I could move. I could come up here and I'm going to put all my dots in here. I could move these right here in. And in doing so, I've now got this bond right here. Let me get my little eraser out. So I've moved those guys over. All right. And then... I'm gonna go back and, uh, oh, by the way, this, I was gonna do the ion, but it's not an ion I'm doing right now. Okay, then I go back and figure out the formal charge of chlorine, and there's now five bonds around it. So there's uh, 10 electrons there, so it's now got a plus two. Hey, this is getting closer to zero, that's good. However, when I go to do the formal charge of the oxygen that's right here, that one is uh, six minus uh, the two lone pairs minus uh, half of the six electrons there. So that's uh, that becomes a six minus two minus three. So that's plus one. Uh-oh, warning, warning, danger, danger. We've made a plus charge on an electronegative ion. So we don't wanna do that. Oh, in fact, that's three bonds. That was this. I didn't have to go through. I could just remember that it was a plus one charge there. So don't make double bonds. Um, uh, don't make a three bonds to hydrogen that's how or to oxygen that's how we should say it don't make a trouble bond or don't make three bonds to, to oxygen so what can we do well let's go ahead and make uh, a double bond between one of the oxygens that's not hooked to the hydrogen let's go back to this and see what's happening to our formal charge when we make one of them a double bond well these were all minus ones minus one uh, that's at zero for that oxygen, it's still zero for this. Oh, that's double bond oxygen now, and that's a zero. Oh, this is great, So, I'm, uh, but what's my chlorine now? So let's figure out the formal charge of chlorine, seven minus zero minus a half of the one, two, three, four, five, uh, the five electrons there, or five bonds, so it's plus two. Oh, this is great, so I went from up here plus three charge now to a plus two charge by adding a double bond. Oh, so maybe you can now see the pattern is, oh, let's go ahead and make this one a double bond. So I'm improving the structure. I'm getting more zeros out of everything. So if I make this one a double bond, this will become a zero. This is a minus one charge here. And this guy 
is still at zero. What's this one still at zero? What's our chlorine? Well, it is seven minus zero minus, well, there's 12 bonds around it now, or 12 bonding electrons. So this gets me down to plus one. Nice. So by adding double bonds, I'm driving down the formal charges of the two atoms. Uh, one of them is, um, yeah, we're going, so the, uh, the negative oxygen has become more positive. The positive chlorine is now getting closer to zero. They're, we're driving the both numbers there to zero. Well, and then hopefully you can see that I make all of them double bond in here. Except for the one that's already got two bonds. Uh, these are all at zero. What's it for the chlorine? Well, the chlorine, I think you will see for the formal charge is seven minus zero minus half of the 14 bonding electrons or the seven bonds that are there, we're at zero. So this is done. This is how you go from the good structure to the best structure, but only do this when you are asked to do it. That's the only time, because it's a lot of work and we gotta show that. But you have to go and see if you can drive it down to zero.